Welcome to the North Devon World Surfing Reserve Series. We're here to meet a North Devon surfing legend, my fellow co-founder for the Surfing Reserve and long-term surfer Cookie. Let's go meet him. Cookie. Hey, How you doing? Good you to right? see you, man. Yeah, yeah, cool. Where are we then? What's, what's this place? This is the secret spot in North Devon. This is where we house the collection of the Museum of British Surfing and keep all the boards that people have donated to us or that we've acquired over the years. You got some favourites? They're all my favourites. <laughs> this is exactly the same as the very first board that I made because I basically got the kit from fits at West Coast. Thought we'd make them up in the woodwork room at school. And so we went down, got all the stuff, and then two days later went back. We didn't have an actual surfboard shape. We didn't know what a surfboard shape Classic. was. Classic, yeah. So we had to, anyway, fit shaped it up, got through, bought some material, just like this. And we got some um, Bruce Palmers, some Tiki's, all local North Devon brands, right? Yeah, well local, yeah, absolutely. BP, he, um, Australian. Croyd, he travelled here. Tiki, this one was probably shaped by John Hall. Not just making boards for here. We would take the boards down to Cornwall. These guys would make boards for anyone. Go over to France. You'd see Vida vans going down, stacked high with these boards. Blanks, wax, everything. You add to that the fact that we also got the first surf shop up at Tiki. So we are right at the heart of the surfing revolution. You know, don't let anyone tell you any different. North Devon was the hub. It was on fire early 70s. So people watching this might find it hard to believe, but you've been surfing since for 50 years here on the, 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 the North Devon coast. Absolute pleasure to be part of that golden time in the 70s. So you must have seen some changes over the years, you know, positive and negatives. You know, is there anything that really, really stands out? I guess the, the main thing is the number of people surfing now. Another huge change is that, you know, when I first started surfing, women in surfing were just not there. There was perhaps a handful. The person who's getting the best wave could just as easily be a man or a woman, and they are surfing so well. So it's respect to everyone who's in the water, you know, and that's a, that's a, that's a really positive change. Check out these boards here, based on an old style mail. This board went into a regular sport shop. Surf shops didn't exist back in the early 60s. Homegrown North Devonness. Here you've got another classic example, you know, shaped by Bob Powers over at Woolican. This guy was so influential. You have this picture of him in 64 at Saunton, you know, part of the reserve. And there he is waxing it up. We want to celebrate that culture. We want to get it recognised and, and as part of the reserve. That, that's a fundamental point for us. Yeah, well, we stand alongside anywhere in the world. Malibu, Noosa. It's different, but we meet all the same criteria. Water's colder. <laughs> of course. <Yeah. laughs> you must have a favourite memorable session. One particular one I can remember is with a little surf rat called Neil Clifton. He was in the water every day, no matter what conditions. That's the way he got good. He came down to the beach once, so when I was working as a lifeguard down there, I managed to score some time off. We went in and it was low tide and it was over towards the middle of the beach. The waves were just breaking perfectly. We both took off on the same wave. He was there on it, sort of giving it heaps and I was just sort of chilling. At the end of it, we both looked at each other and we knew that was something special. And that was one of those days, you, you know, you mortgage your house for. You know, and that's the reason we've set up a surf reserve, is to make sure that everybody can enjoy this for, for, forever. It's not about now, it's not about us going surfing now. It's about your kids going surfing, and their kids, and their kids' kids, way into the distance, generations to come, so that they can be there, have a day at the beach, have a day in the surf, enjoying what we've got here. And they leave at the end of the day, with big smiles on their faces, saying thank you.